Hi, welcome to another edition of Fleet Momentum video series produced by Automotive Fleet Magazine. I'm Fleet Group Editor Chris Brown. This series is designed to put a spotlight on key leaders, trends, and product offerings in the fleet management industry. This episode is sponsored by and produced in partnership with eDriving. Today, we'll be talking to Steph Campbell, Senior Vice President of Privacy for eDriving. We'll talk about privacy issues and driver concerns on privacy regarding the implementation and management of driver safety programs. Steph, welcome. Thanks, Chris. It's good to be here. Sure. Well, let's just get right into it. And why don't you first tell us about eDriving? Sure. Uh, well, eDriving, uh, we, we'd like to pride ourselves on being known as the digital driver safety and risk management gurus. Um, we've been doing that for over 25 years now. Um, and it, in fact, the mission really hasn't changed, I don't think, in, in that time. So the mission really is just to help our clients reduce their incidents, collisions, injuries, uh, license violations, uh, carbon emissions, uh, the total cost of fleet ownership, and um, ba basically ensure that all drivers return home safely to their loved ones at the end of each day. Sure. Well, um, you know, we're going to kind of narrow into driver privacy. Um, in that vein, what do organizations need to consider when implementing a driver safety program? Well, that's, uh, yeah, you're right. That privacy is my sort of field of expertise, um, although I have uh, had experience of other areas of the business, of course. Uh, which has helped in, in terms of uh, consider considerations in terms of driver safety programs. So firstly, of course, it's uh, the profile of the driver. Um, you know, do you have somebody that's doing uh, multi-drop deliveries? Do you have uh, truck drivers? Do you have perk car drivers? You know, all of those things um, translate into different types of, of programs. And you may have an organisation that has multiple uh, layers within that program, according to whichever driver type it is. Um, secondly, of course, uh, national and, and regional privacy laws uh, or other national laws such as employment, labour law, um, internet security laws, all of those things come into play. Um, the the organisation, um, employee engagement and transparency um, through uh, employee representative groups is very, really very important, uh, particularly works councils uh, or unions. Works councils is something that uh, is, is prevalent within the EU. Um, and of course, un unions are, are elsewhere within the world. Um, another thing that uh, I think is, is a, an important consideration is to consider a, a proof of concept program. Uh, with the improvements that uh, results that you can share in the communication plan, because you really need to be able to demonstrate that the program does work. Uh, a, a strong communication plan uh, dealing with the, uh, the reasons why the program is so important to the organisation and um, repeatedly reassuring in all the communications that the drivers um, receive that if they're using uh, Mentor, for example, our, our telematics product, the driver's location is not shared with the organisation. Uh, and that really does set Mentor apart from a lot of the, the other uh, similar types of products on the market. Uh, the, the driver's trip details are only visible to the driver and to e-driving if the driver needed to review it for a, a specific trip, for example, for a technical reason, uh, then e-driving would have access to that. Um, the organisation only receives a, a summary uh, of the number of events and the, the driver's seven day rolling uh, safe driving score, uh, which fully protects their privacy, in other words, uh, and the location data is deleted after a short period of time. Uh, a comprehensive privacy notice is very, very important. Uh, you need to clearly state what information you're collecting, why, and on what legal basis you're doing it, uh, where the information will be stored, uh, how it's protected, uh, and, and detail what their access rights are. Uh, we actually recommend that uh, you give all individuals the same access rights, regardless of, of whether their own country has a privacy law. Um, and in actual fact, less than 5% of, of the world has, has any kind of privacy law, um, has no privacy law at all. Uh, so, you know, when you're talking about 95% of the world has either a draft or a full law, you know, it's not something that you could ignore. Uh, it's not an optional thing. Driver privacy is of utmost importance. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, so you, you touched on it a little bit, but I want to talk about the drivers' concerns over privacy. I mean, what are the most common ones that drivers 
uh, bring up about their own privacy? Yeah, I mean, telematics is is quite often the buzzword uh, that sets off alarm bells. But in actual fact, um, the the way that uh, the e driving does it, it it's it doesn't meet any of those uh, those concerns. So, they quite often uh, they have concerns about surveillance. You know, is it a surveillance tool? Am I being tracked? Um, is my location, uh, my GPS data visible to to my manager or or to anyone else um, who can access my personal data? Um, and and frequently are there any negative consequences uh, and that should never be the case you know all of these things are the, the driver safety program is there to help the driver it's certainly not there to beat them with a stick yeah sure um so i this obviously next question varies by region but can you talk about privacy laws that actually prohibit a driver safety program uh, well, that's that's quite an easy one. There, there are no privacy laws that completely prohibit a driver safety program. In actual fact, it's the complete opposite. Um, the employment law or, or the health and safety law of, of the, the country would, would uh, set out that requirement. And across the world, it is fairly similar, um, you know, sort of 50,000 foot view, if you like. Um, the employer has the duty uh, to ensure the health and safety of those workers in every aspect uh, of, of that work. Um, that's, that's not something that uh, they can not do. Uh, what I would say is that some of the privacy laws are a little bit more uh, complicated um, to, to work around. And, and we have an overview of the whole world, obviously, but uh, um, certainly there are none that prohibit uh, a driver safety program at all. OK, yeah, really good to know. So um, for organizations that are considering introducing a new driver safety program, what are some tips or things that they really need to watch out for when they embark on this plan? Well, uh, one of the things I'd, I probably would say is you need to consider, you know, the types of, of program that you're using. So the traditional telematics um, is, is pretty much 24-7 tracking, um, but very little analysis for, for driver safety. So it tends to be used for um, the likes of logistics um, and, um, you know, large organisations that want to use it for supply chain uh, improvements and analysis. Um, but that obviously the, the, the flip side of that is it leaves the organisation in a very, very vulnerable position uh, when it comes to assessing the, the risk and, and identifying any improvement opportunities, uh, particularly when it comes to things like providing specific training to risky drivers. Uh, and in fact, they're not analysing that information uh, at all in many cases, um, which doesn't leave them in a very good position at all. Um, now, obviously the analysis of that big data requires enormous resource. Uh, so it tends only to be reactive after an incident. Um, but that's why, <coughs> excuse me, that's why eDriving teamed up with uh, the experts at, at FICO back in 2016 to design a, a scoring algorithm um, that analyzes each trip and uh, gives a one to five star trip review um, and feedback both pos positive and negative uh, along with that seven day safe driving score. Um, if you're going to be introducing a driver safety program, you need to be very distinct between um, logistics supply chain and driver safety because you know the, the two don't go hand in hand ordinarily. Our safe driving score enables us to, to anal analyze the trips and, and provide driver safety related feedback to the organization uh, without having to share any of the, the driver's trips or the, the location because the organization doesn't need to see that. They just need to see how their, their drivers are driving, not where they're driving. Okay, yeah, great, thanks. Um, so let's just getting back to privacy concerns. So how does e-driving specifically address driver privacy concerns and how does e-driving really help organizations navigate this privacy landscape? Uh, well, I'll, I'll address the, the second one first. So we have a, an in-house privacy and compliance team um, and we monitor privacy laws across the world on a daily basis. Uh, and I'm not saying they do change daily, but uh, but they certainly do change quickly. So we monitor that. Uh, we also monitor the, the news stories coming out through, through um, data protection. So... Um, in, in terms of how do we address it? Well, firstly, in the products, we, we use privacy by design principles. That's something that was introduced by the GDPR 
but is uh, is becoming more prevalent across all the other privacy laws now. Uh, so privacy by design is that you literally design the product with privacy in mind. Um, and that's why our mentor product uh, does not share the location or, or the GPS coordinates or, or the trip information um, to make sure that that, that privacy is, is completely protected. Uh, we also use uh, data minimization. So, you know, if you don't need to take that information in, if you're not using that information, don't collect it. Um, and we have uh, ISO 27001 um, uh, certification, which uh, obviously it provides organisations with uh, an element of comfort that uh, that we have the, the correct level of uh, security and safeguards in place for that information. Great. OK, well, I mean, we sort of really went pretty deep and comprehensive here on uh, privacy and, 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 and really how it relates to, to the driver. I really appreciate uh, your time today, Steph, and thanks for the great information. No problem at all.